IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video, I'm going to replace my mechanical hard drive by an SSD. Okay, so for that end, I'm going to use this Optiplex 3010. By the way, I made a video about this, downgraded the BIOS version for this specific computer, for this model. So if you want to watch that, I'm going to leave the link in the top right of this screen. So, but this don't only apply to Dell. So you can use any computer. I'm going to show you later in the video some what happens. You can do the same for a tower computer, maybe that you might uh, you might have built or you have it from Dell, HP, Lenovo. This process is the same for any other brand. But just this this Dell is the one I have. So as I mentioned, I'm going to replace my mechanical hard drive by an. an SSD. If you want, I didn't clone this SSD. I mean, it's not cloned. It's a new one. I'm going to install Windows from scratch because the hard drive is very old. I mean, the mechanical one is very old. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for the SSD if you're interested. And uh, now uh, we're going to open this computer. So as always, uh, get rid of, well, take out any jewelry or watches that you may have and get rid of the, uh, the static electricity that you might have in your body by touching the case. Now that the case is open, we can see the power supply, we can see the fan for the processor, we can see the CD-DVD reader, and in order to access the, the mechanical hard drive, we have to remove this, um, this uh, CD-DVD reader. Okay, so uh, that's what we're going to do. Again, if you want to watch how to clone a hard drive, I'm going to leave the link in the description below using free software. That's a good deal. So now, I'm going to remove this uh, the SATA cable and the power for the for the optical drive, and here we have the mechanical hard drive. So this is the secure um, like switch that this model has. So I'm going to remove it, as you can see. But I made a mistake; it was already uh, unlocked. So here we have. You can see the enclosure, and we are going to take it out. So this is the hard drive, the mechanical one. So this is 3.5 inches. And I'm going to remove the belt or the enclosure so we can see it better. And we have to replace it anyway. So I'm going to put it aside. And now I have this big space. But obviously you can tell that this is too big. I mean, you can put it like that and leave it like that, but it's going to, maybe it can be damaged in the future. I don't like that, especially if you're not going to support it for a long time. I don't recommend doing that, okay? So for that, I got this uh, bracket. So this one is internal 2.5 to 3.5 SSD HDD mounting kit. So these are brackets that you can use to um, adapt your SSD to a 3.5 enclosure. So as you can see, it comes to, if you're interested, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. It comes with a screws as well, which for me, it's a plus, honestly. As you can see, we have two sets and it says Shenzhen because of course this was made in China. And um, what we're going to do now, I'm showing you how it looks. So we have to put the, you have to attach the SSD the, to this um, to this bracket. So to do that, um, I'm, I'm just going to show you how it looks. So when you have the SSD attached to this bracket, you have to put it inside this enclosure because that's what we need for this model. And bigger computers like um, tower computers have this as well. I'm going to show you later, like I mentioned. So be patient for that. And now. As you can see, we need this. Otherwise, it would be like not securely attached. So we don't like that. So we have two kind of screws, the small ones to the to attach the SSD to the bracket, and the these these silver ones. So you can use in maybe older tower computers. So I'm going to attach it now using my loyal um, Phillips screwdriver, screwdriver, which you're going to see in a few more seconds. And the, the video is sped up. So you don't have to wait all the time that it took me to put these screws. I don't know why it took me so long. And you're going, you're going to see me doing that. So while we wait for me to do it, even though it's sped up, uh, I just remind you, um, please subscribe to the channel if, if you like this video. If you have any comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. I'm going to leave the links for the, the brackets and the SSD if you're interested in those. Now, after, uh, since we are doing this as well, if this is the first time in the channel, please look around. Maybe you are going to find a video that is useful to you. Now, after we have put all the all the screws that, as you can see me struggling here, 
uh, we are going to put in I mean this bracket inside this this enclosure or this belt. So this is really easy to do. You just have to match the holes. That's all. And then you put it in the final enclosure. So bracket inside a bracket or enclosure inside another enclosure. So as you can see here, it's very easy to put it back. So I'm going to attach it securely. So that way it's not going to, uh, to go out. So now I'm going to um, connect the, uh, the SATA cable to the SSD. And then I'm going to connect the power cable to the SSD as well. But the struggle, again, as always in this channel, it's classic for me to struggle when connecting. <laughs> when connecting hard drives, we connected power supplies and all that. So by the way, if you are replacing your if your power supply is not working for this model, I have a video for that. I'm going to also leave the link in the description below. So now that we have connected it, we're going to free or make sure that we have freed the um, the SATA and the power for the CD DVD reader. So now we're going to secure it. We're going to lock it. So we don't have any accident maybe in the future when we are moving this desktop computer. So again, we are going to put a CD DVD reader in place. So that way we can install, reinstall Windows or maybe Linux or whatever other operating system that you may like to install on this computer. Or maybe it's a clone, you, you have cloned it and you want to use it right away. So I'm going to put the cover back and that's pretty much it. Then you have to install Windows and all that. But what happens if I have a tower computer? Maybe you don't have a Dell, maybe you don't have a Lenovo, may maybe you have built the computer yourself. So we are going to check that right now. So as you can see here, I have a desktop computer, um, a tower computer I built myself. Uh, you can see the power supply there. You can see the, the fan for the processor, which is an AMD. We can see, you can see the motherboard, the RAM, and all that. So computers for many years now come with these uh, extra um, trays for SSDs. So you can put the SSD with, with no problems. You only need the screws. Well, not even the screws. Yes, these are very good. But what if you have them fill, uh, full up? Uh, you don't have more space for SSD, and you only have the or you don't have them at all, and you only have the 3.5 inches trays that I'm showing you right now. So I'm going to do the same. It is already attached. I'm using the same hard drive that I used a few minutes ago. So I'm going to put it in the, in the enclosure, in the bell, but on the other side, because in this model, my cables, my power cable and my SATA are, are in the back, I know, are not in the front. So as you can see, they fit just as well. It's pretty easy so you have more space for SSD, if that's your goal, obviously. So as you can see, see me doing here again, I'm putting it back and taking it out, and it's pretty cool. So it's really easy, that way it's more presentable, more presentable, <laughs> more professional, it looks better. And that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, these brackets that I found online. In my opinion, they are really good. They are made out of some kind of metal. They are not, pla it's not plastic. And they are not, uh, they are light. I always forgot to mention that. And they are, they seem durable in my opinion. So that's what I wanted to show you in this short video guide, uh, guys, these brackets. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or question, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.